Hi, this is Steve from Seaside Allotment. So unfortunately, I did quite a few videos today down the allotment. Um, unfortunately, the iPhone failed to record any of the audio associated with those videos. So you've got to put it with my smiling face, uh, giving the quick intros uh, to the, um, the speeded up videos. So the first job of the day was uh, filling a few gaps that I've got in the leak bed. Um, uh, I ran out of leaks the last time I was planting and so this time I got another pot that was ready and uh, so I filled all the gaps. So that's the uh, leeks all planted. Uh, I think we've got about 15 there in total. Um, you can see them there, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, not too deep. I, I find it's easier to uh, pull them up if, uh, if they're not planted too deep. Um, and they've launched just fine, uh, interplanted with the radishes. I love in radishes and I uh, can't get too much of them. Eat the leaves and the, uh, the radish itself. And this is the next job. So I've got some uh, dwarf French beans to plant. Uh, I'm clearing out this bed uh, down the centre to make space for them. Uh, I'm going to leave a lot of uh, the crop around the outside to act as a bit of a windbreak, um, uh, just because these are very tender little beans really, um, and it's a bit early in the year to be planting them even in this polytunnel, so we'll see how they go. Um, I've grown them in these root trainers. To be honest, although everybody raves about these, I'm not a huge fan of them so far. Um, I, I never seem to be able to get the roots out uh, fully intact. Um, they seem to come out better in just grown in modules. Anyway, we'll see how it, these compare with uh, some module grown ones that, uh, that I've also done that will be going in another bed soon. Uh, so I think that's the job pretty much done. Uh, everything's planted and just to say that I'll actually be keeping this um, hoop tunnel closed uh, on its lowest venting setting so that's about an inch for a couple of days and then I'll raise it up to its three inch setting um, you know once they've acclimatized to uh, the temperature a bit better so the next job is to pull out these uh, old purple sprouted broccoli. Uh, pretty much finished all of these now. Um, it's all going to seed. Um, clear out this old polythene and prepare the soil. Uh, ready for interplanting spring onions and radish. So that's the bed all prepared. Um, give it a good weed. Um, put down a couple of inches of uh, pretty coarse compost uh, and I've got my trusty planting stick there and I've got some fine soil uh, that I'm going to use to to fill the drill and then put the fine soil on top as well and then I've got my radish and um, spring onions already So another um, purple sprouting broccoli bed, 
This one's such a mess, everything's all fallen over and bent and whatever. Um, but anyway, it needs doing. And it's also full of mare's tail. You can see it coming in through all over the place. So this bed needs a really good weeding um, before I get planting. So on with the job. to get on with some cropping so I think we'll start with uh, the hotbed which is looking pretty good 